Another question that was asked in Gate Economics paper of 2022 was like this. Tom buys uh, 10 liters of petrol without worrying about price and Jerry buys a uh, petrol of 1000 rupees without worrying about price. What is uh, the elasticity of demand for Tom and Jerry? Okay, so far we need to find out the elasticity of demand for Tom and Jerry. Here we can see uh, Tom buys 10 liters of petrol without worrying about price. Okay, without worrying about price. Now, what does this statement mean? Is it simply means uh, if we can draw the graph here, we have petrol on this axis and price of the petrol on this axis. We are being told that Tom demands 10 liters of petrol irrespective of the price of petrol. Okay, so that means uh, if he is buying, let us say here, 10 liters of petrol. And he is not concerned about any change in price. Let us say price is here 10, here price is 20. So any change in price, uh, if the term buys the same amount of petrol, in this case, we can say uh, elasticity of demand for a term is equal to zero, okay? We can say that any change in the price of the petrol will not change his requirement for 10 liters of petrol okay by this we imply he has a perfectly inelastic okay so this uh, vertical line denotes the perfectly let me write it here uh, perfectly inelastic okay we have perfectly inelastic demand okay by perfectly inelastic demand we mean elasticity of demand is equal to zero okay so this is the statement from uh, the first part of this question that tom buys 10 liters of petrol without worrying about price he doesn't care about the price if price is 10 dollars uh, or 20 dollars he is going to uh, demand only 10 dollars at that time we say price elasticity of demand is zero and we say we have the perfectly inelastic demand okay now, uh, next part uh, to this question is uh, Jerry buys a petrol of 1000 rupees without worrying about price. Now, what does this mean? It simply means in case of Jerry, uh, he requires 1000 uh, rupees worth of petrol irrespective of a uh, quantity he will be able to buy for a given price. Or we can say that his expenditure on petrol is fixed, which implies uh, any change in the price will not affect the total expenditure okay so uh, if we can graphically talk about uh, this very stuff we have petrol here okay and we have the price of petrol okay in this case since expenditure is constant we are being told he buys a petrol of thousand rupees his expenditure is constant it is demand will look like this demand curve that means let us say if price was uh, we have total expenditure for this uh, jerry is equal to thousand okay now uh, if uh, total expenditure means price into quantity should be equal to thousand okay let us say uh, if price was 10 okay let me write it here or let us say price was 20 if price is 20 okay quantity demanded will be equal to uh, let me write it here if price is 20 total expenditure is constant what will be the quantity demanded so quantity demanded will be 20 into 10 okay now let us say if price decreases to 10 then uh, so quantity demanded is 10 initially total expenditure is constant fixed here so 20 into 10 is thousand if uh, price falls to 10 okay if price falls again to 10 okay we have the same expenditure he only uh, uh, has an expenditure of thousand rupees so let me write it here if price falls to 10 then what will be the quantity demanded so 10 into 20 will give us again thousand rupees okay so that means we have thousand um, sorry we have 20 here okay 
so 20 units of petrol will be demanded and we see we can see here uh, 20 into 10 is 1000 he has a fixed expenditure and here 10 into 20 we have again 1000 in this case we can say he has a unit elasticity of demand which means proportionate a decrease in price of uh, petrol here will be equal to the proportionate increase in demand for petrol okay and here we can as uh, also see if change in price okay if uh, with change in price total expenditure remains constant we say we have a unitary elastic demand so in this case elasticity of demand will be minus one and in case of term elasticity of demand is zero that means any change in price if it leads to constant uh, constant quantity demanded okay we say we have perfectly inelastic demand and perfectly in uh, inelastic demand is denoted by zero okay so the slope is here zero and in case of um, this when we have expenditure fixed okay any change in price if it leads to constant expenditure we say elasticity of demand is minus one okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you